All right, folks, we're back in Herman City. I was looking at this white pine here earlier, and I was <clears throat> trying to figure out why it's so much bigger than the others. Meaning those two there. Now from this profile, it seems like the trunk is rectangular in cross-section. See that? Wide side there. Narrow side there. It's kind of odd. Then it has this. couple of branches above each other that turned into almost like new trunks. They started growing straight up. Hmm, it appears to be getting sunny. Huh. Well, the clouds are really, really blowing around. I guess it's clearing up, I don't know. Now there's a view of some beautiful pitch pines over there while I'm standing here. <clears throat> With some of the other non-native stuff in front of it. I think those are scotch pines. The young ones. They must be. Anyway, back to this white pine here. I was thinking that these things might be from the Herman City days. And that's 1873. <clears throat> but for some reason, these don't strike me as being 130 years old. Now, early <clears throat> in the early and mid 20th century, there were some people living here, the Costers, and they may have planted these things. See, there's a row of trees there. It continues that way, although the rest of them are Norway spruces. And then there's all these non natives. other non-natives, I should say, all these young scotch pines or whatever they are. Look at those beautiful pitch pines across the way. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe the Costers planted these things. Which would make them early to mid 20th century trees. Now there were two other things I wanted to show you further back in the woods. There's this, uh, yeah, this one, this oak right here. And that young one, that tiny young one right there. I don't know if you can see those leaves in the top. Now the bark looks like white oak, and I think these two trees might be that Saul's oak that we were discussing on the ENTS Google group one time. Now let's see if I can find some of the leaves on the ground. Since those are too high to get close to, and there's some of these over at the Seaview Resort that I was noticing recently. Okay, where? And there's some of that spotted wintergreen. It can be found all over the Pine Barrens, but not in great quantities, like the uh, tea berry.
Alright, where are those leaves? I guess the ones that are here are squashed up, curled up. Turn it around and look at the back of it, I guess. Here's one. He kind of... Kind of hard to get the... Kind of hard to get a good look at it when it's all curled up. I was trying to find some flat ones. Looking at the back side of one there. Yeah, so I think maybe it's that it's that hybrid between white oak and whatever. White oak and something else. It's a Saul's oak or something. And the third the other thing I wanted to show you. If I can find it again, here it is. It is this tiny little pitch pine seedling or sapling. And the smallest witch's broom I've ever seen. And for some reason, camera's not focusing on it but what is it about two inches across that's the size of the tree two and a half feet tall maybe a little seedling or sapling And I think, yeah, there's some black oaks here. There's a turkey vulture up there. Yeah, that's a white oak right there. There's a black oak, I think. Yeah. I know I saw some leaves from post oak on the ground. See, here's one of those, here's one of those leaves. There is no chestnut oak here. At least not in the immediate area around me. A lot of baby Norway spruces. Yeah, I think the Costers, when they lived here, they must have been planting stuff. Yeah, there's some more of the Um, spotted wintergreen. Strange to see Norway spruce and white pine in the pine barrens. There's black walnut. Anyway, just wanted to show you those things. The big white pine, the oak, and that tiny witch's broom.
Oh, looky here. Prickly pear cactus. I didn't know there was any here at Herman City. Yeah, there's some more there. Looks like it's scattered around a lot in this immediate area. Alright, that's it. See you next time, folks.